Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. It was a beautiful day and I wanted to take the SL500 out after finally doing lots of repairs and work on the car. Taking the top down and let's see what happens next. Oh no, look at this. What a big mess. So let's see, fluid leaking from one of the hydraulic cylinders. This is the main lift cylinder. So as you can see, it's already obvious what is going on here. And as far as I can see from here, this opening here, can you see what I see? Yes, it's the I believe this is the main actually hydraulic jack. And now let's remove all this junk from here. Okay guys, this leak is not a big deal. Stay tuned. There will be two sections of this video. First removing the main cylinders and then repairing them as well. It's now better. So please note that we need to uh, lift the top a few times as well as the roller bar so we need to do this to access few parts. Okay before we start uh, let's begin with this. Uh, you need probably to buy this kit already if you haven't bought. Uh, this is a kit that has the uh, seals for the hydraulic cylinders and there is a textbook of how to replace all these parts and how to find all these jacks. So for example, it is mentioned here that where every single uh, hydraulic cylinder is located. This makes your job way easier. To begin, we have to uh, lift the roller bar so we can access this panel area over here. And first thing to remove is three Phillips screws from around this uh, cover. We have two screws underneath here. I'm now touching it. One, two, and the third one over here. So let's remove this and we will continue. Let's remove this plastic and then you'll be good to take off the cover and make sure not to lose this <clears throat> rubber lock. Now in order to remove this panel over here you need to Open this compartment area first, second, need to remove this strip, better strip from here, easily comes off. So we have few screws hidden over here under cover, so take this cover off, uh, the best place to put it probably. Take that Phillips screw. Ah, it's a tough one. Okay, Phillips screws taken off. And then from there, there are some plastic clips underneath this uh, panel over here that you need to push up. So you just need a little leverage uh, from this back area and as you can see there are clips and the have to hold holds that so just a little leverage and there is one white clip over here as you can see so you need to pull that out here's another one gradually you can work it out 
and just be careful a bit behind this connector for the heated rear window there is a clip as you can see over here you need to remove this clip by probably pushing it below and then there you go comes out so you need to push this plastic down in order to remove this and then from there I make sure to attach this one back and then you'll be able to continue with the removal so now everything is almost loose you just need a little patience to reel all these out So let me show you how it looks from back. There we go, we have one clip, two clip that this one is not good, three, and the top ones there are two metal clips. Uh, these are plastic clips that goes to the holes, one, two. So nothing tough, I'm going to replace this one later. I now need to lower this and lift the roof a bit to be able to access that uh, specific cylinder. So we are talking about uh, this bad boy, the main lift. And this is bolted by a very long bolt that comes to here. I'm actually touching it. It's a 14 millimeter and uh, that it's very long. The reason why I get all those fluid, as you can see, dropping, is there is a type of funnel that collects all the rainwater or anything like that, as well as the hydraulic fluid collecting that coming to this tube and going to the rocker panel over here so I can't see any uh, grease or oil except just a little bit and all those coming through this tube going to rocker panel and dripping down to the floor so now the mission is to take this bolt 14 millimeter bolt off Take this one pressure line off, take the other pressure line off, and as you can see from top, the leak over there, take this bolt off, which has only a clip, a metal clip, and then we should be good. I'm checking all the other uh, hydraulic cylinders, and there are two... I think three of them here that I can see and they all seem to be dry there's one there and the other one is also exposed I can see from here so two and the third one is that uh, it's actually a lift ram for the whole cover compartment so all the three is okay this one over here seems to be good the one we have over here it's not leaky and good so here is the clip I removed you only need to lift one section of it and then push it towards this opening So that pin is now ready to uh, be taken off. Okay, from the, I've removed the pin and there was no uh, load on it. 
so it uh, I was able to pull it out easily so here is the uh, pressure line on the top and as you can see it's not actually that bad it uh, has a kind of easy access so all we need to do is pull down on that uh, little metal uh, clips and we should be good so I only gently pulled that uh, metal clips down and now the line is ready to be removed and I removed that now it's all done there is no fluid leaking as you can see so now let's do this to the bottom uh, line there are a bunch of wires here as you can see over here the only thing to do is now to remove that 14 millimeter that I will do in a few seconds but my uh, socket is already there and I'm ready to loosen that uh, bolt broken loose and there we go of course they have uh, used some kind of Loctite on it and the blue stuff is so tough to the very last threads okay success here is the very very long uh, bolt it's a weird shape and I can see trace of blue stuff on it very stuck very nice I believe no one has ever removed this I also can see the trace of fluid on it all right let's get this out there is a funnel here that we need to uh, take care of but everything else should be easy okay all done this is the kind of funnel I was talking about and you can see there's a hole down there that takes all the fluid see how much fluid is uh, up over here uh, so all the fluid goes down that tube and ends up on the floor please make sure you wear eye protection as well as hand protection kind of gloves as well because this is going to be dangerous removing this c-clip is very easy you only need a, a small screwdriver flathead to remove this c-clip as you can see over here you might need two screwdrivers at the same time and a vice is very helpful okay now the c-clip is removed here it is as you can see and you just need to pull this shaft few times out it is actually called a piston and rod so by moving it it comes off as you can see over here inspect inside the cylinder there is an o-ring around the top section of cylinder here I show you in few second time and then uh, this is very important to note there are two o-rings uh, for this cylinder and pistons to replace make sure you clean out I usually clean uh, the cylinders and piston with brake part cleaner I have done that myself uh, and you need to do this uh, cl clean uh, both part uh, thoroughly and then inspect the o-rings the o-rings for the cylinder is at the very top section removing this thin o-ring seal you need to remove another seal which is under this part over here and in order to remove this part you need to take off the, the top of the rod which I show you in a few seconds it is only possible you with using heat or heat gun and you need some excessive heat to melt down the kind of glue or Loctite at the end of the rod I show you the heat gun and how you should heat this section in order to take off the part of the rod 
literally need to heat up this section until you see kind of bubbles coming from the th underneath the threads or some kind of smoke just look at the video you see the bubbles or smoke using a very thick gloves hold the rod and using an adjustable wrench just turn the rod until you loosen all the way this section of the rod and take it off and of course be extra vigilant not to burn yourself or your hand and now you can slide off this cap and as you can see underneath is the main o-ring which always goes bad and it seems to be the original o-ring over here or seal was not a very good quality o-ring and as you can see over here it has uh, come out in two pieces here is the first piece and in few seconds I will take off the next piece as you can see it's completely gone the seal is no longer able to hold any hydraulic fluid and that why the whole uh, leak has happened here's the two pieces of uh, the old seal and you are going to use the thinner uh, kind of uh, o-ring the new black one to replace that and here is the whole assembly after putting back everything so I replaced two o-rings and I am now going to put everything back you also need to make sure that the level of the fluid inside your reservoir is enough and then uh, go ahead and test your system okay guys this project is finally done it took me f about two four hours two days of four hour session and i have kind of comprehensive tools and so if you have uh, enough tools to do this project i highly suggest you to do this if you want to do one of these it's not recommended because see this one it was totally gone and was leaking and this one was the original one and was still intact i had and but it's uh, so uh, dry and brittle that it would probably uh, leak in a year or six month time so i highly recommend you to replace both sides so as i said two four hours spend on it and take your time be patient there are few uh screws that will uh, be uh, harder to put back just like these three underneath uh, make sure you don't lose anything don't miss anything just put everything back and you might end up with few broken uh, clips behind these and uh, that's easy fix you can always replace those uh, you need the roof raise to be able to access the top section of the hydraulic cylinder main hydraulic cylinder lift and that's about it uh, I have already replaced these two I have already replaced the main lifts so all that is left are the smaller ones in the back which you would uh, have access easier and I'm not worried about those for now make sure you top up your uh, reservoir over here as well uh, keep an eye on it and I have a project on that one as well you can find a YouTube video on my channel about the hydraulic pump as well how to clean the inside and all those things welcome to my party we're just getting started a life is a dream or a nightmare starring hand me a drink because i think i'm going all in get me a shrink who can catch me with thank you so much for watching this long long video uh, this will definitely help you to replace this is this was actually a comprehensive guide to how to do it uh hope you enjoy give me a thumb up and uh, also, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Thank you so much and have a great day.